Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal. In this video, I'm going to share with you a talk to my future self. Here it goes. Today is August 11, 2020. I will answer my question in August 2022. The first question is, right now you have 378 subscribers. How many subscribers do you have now? Well, well, I would be able to answer that number in 2022 of August, but at this time, I really don't know. I hope it will be a, a size, a good number. As a YouTuber, it it gives you motivation to to see numbers, right? Bigger number, the bigger the better. But whatever that is. I'm still happy and grateful for what I have. Having a platform to share my messages is, is a, such a blessing. So um, whatever the number, I'm still happy. Are you still doing YouTube? I hope so. I hope, I hope the answer would be yes. Um, but what if YouTube no longer exists in two years? Well, what would happen? Well, I was still doing, I was still uh, videotaping and uploading to my website or to any other platforms. Uh, part of my now, life now is sharing my uh, messages on written as well as on spoken form. So if YouTube is no longer available, then there's all the other forms. But I do hope that it will, it will stay sustained for a long time maybe the rest of my life who knows right so we hope and pray for that number three are you still active in Toastmaster International I hope the answer is yes international Toastmaster International with the word is, is international everywhere so let's say if I decided to move to Vietnam to stay there for a long period of time then I would find time to join Toastmaster over there. I would like to share my messages as often as possible and I also would like to encourage young speakers to speak, to share their voice and um, to show them my tips and techniques. So yes, wherever they, I will be, I would still want to participate in Toastmaster Speaking Club. Number four, you have talked lately about moving back to Vietnam to live a long period at a time with your mom and siblings. You, did you do that? The answer I would hope is yes, 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 yes. I really do want to come home to be there for my mom. She is, right now she's 78 and in two years she's 780. Uh, but I do want to start coming home more often after pandemic. So um, yeah, I want to be there for her. You know, this is my long, very long, a, a dream that I had for a long time. I wasn't there for her the, in the last 35 years. I only came back occasionally. Lately, I come back every year or every other year but before 10 years five year eight year i didn't get a chance to come back but now her being she doesn't have her my father anymore and she's older i would love to be there for her and with her with my two sisters and brother so that is my hope and dream that the answer would be yes Last night you sent a query letter to a literary agent. Did he respond to you? If not, did you send out more to other agents? Well, two years from now I would know the answer if whether he responded or not. If he, I will, of course I'm gonna give him time and if I don't hear nothing, then I will, yes, I will definitely send out more query letters to other literary agents. Being self-published is easy, of course. You can, I can do everything on my own. I, I'm capable of putting it out there to Amazon, Kindle Direct, and even audiobook. I'm able to do all that. 
but I don't have all the resource and knowledge and skill to make it in a, a big project like having my book uh, flawless and having the ability to share to to put it out there so I do want now I do want to go through a traditional publisher so I do hope that yes I do hope to find a, an agent to represent me number six did you get a book deal with a sizable publisher where it takes you to book tours and big sales I pray and hope that I would yes I would hope so number eight how is your husband Dennis now? Is he retired as planned? Do you often travel with him to different places? Are you happy with him around 24-7? How is my husband two years from now? I hope he is still well, happy, uh, retired. Uh, yes, he has worked very many years. He started working when he was only a teenager at 12, 13. So um, yes, his body has been telling him to take a break and enjoy life. So I do hope two years from now, uh, make, actually I do hope that he start taking a break sooner than two years, so next year. And as far as traveling, yes I do and want to travel places. I've been to America 35 years but I didn't have the means to travel. Now being retired and doing YouTubing, I would love to do travel videos. I just, for the longest time, everywhere I go, I videotape and, and taking pictures anywhere. And my husband would be like, why are you doing that? You, you look like a tourist. I don't know what it is, but I guess it's because my family, my loved ones are in Vietnam and they watch me what I share on my channel. Facebook, YouTube. So I always have that interest of sharing what I do to them because most of them don't have the chance to come here. So that's what I have done for the last 10 years uh, without thinking of making money or anything like that. Now I want to do it professionally and um, I want anywhere I go and I want to start with California. I want to be able to go to maybe another seven, eight places in California and capture a, everything and share with my audience and family and outside of California and outside of the United States. That is my hope and dream, uh, being retired uh, as a county employee and, and being out there and sharing the world sharing the whole world where I go and what food I have. That would be my dream come true, yes. Number eight, where are Vivian and Charlie now? Did they graduate from colleges? Vivian from master's degree in social work and Charlie from bachelor's degree in business? How is your dearest Jaden? Oh, in two years. I hope, well, uh, Vivian plan is to graduate in one year, so I do hope in two years from now she already graduated and started working full time. As for my son, he is studying uh, his Cal State University this coming, uh, I think this month he's studying. So within two years he should be finished his school. Hope and pray both of them are finished school when I answer these all questions in the next two years. As far as my baby Jaden, he I by then he's seven years old. Uh, I hope he can read now. Um, bigger, taller, smarter. He's a very active child. I love him. I love I love my baby Jaden dearly. I love him just like how much I love my son Charlie. And I wish I could he could be with me, you know, all the way up to adulthood. But it doesn't seem possible because I won't be around him and he had to be with his mom. Wherever we are, wherever I am, I will always think of him and love him with all my heart. You know that Jaden, Nana will love you no matter where Nana will be. Okay, you remember that. Number nine, did you fight effective, did we fight effective vaccines for COVID-19? Is life back to normal after the pandemic in 2020? 
I hope so. I hope so. Um, I have been reading that uh, vaccines. Uh, there's so many, so many scientists working on it. There's so many people testing for it, experimenting. And um, I, I really do hope that uh, by the end of this year or no later than next year, we will have good vaccines that we will be all, most of us will be taking and uh, preventing us from getting sick from COVID-19. I, myself, my family will do the, um, the vaccines, definitely. I asked my husband, he said yes, so I'm really happy that um, will life go back to normal? I do hope so. I hope that we all go back to normal, business as usual, we still can hang out with friends and invite families over for big holidays. I hope that happens and we still can hugs and kisses. Right now, hug and kisses is kind of off limit, especially to uh, people that you don't live with. And my last question is, where are you now answering this question and what are your plans in the next few years? Really, I have no answer for the question because I don't know where I will be in August 2022. Um, I do hope that uh, wherever I am, I, uh, I'm, I, I'm happy wherever I choose to go, uh, whether in the States or in Vietnam or any of the country that I'm, I would be healthy, healthy, happy, healthy, and enjoy uh, doing YouTube, still writing, still uh, publishing books and still upli uh, sharing uplifting stories that's my hope and dream so uh, yes i answered qu 10 questions that i have for my uh, future self 2022 i hope you enjoy my answers question and answers um in 2022 i will get back to these questions until then you stay safe, stay blessed, and take care of yourself. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye now.